Ken Kaplan from Kaplan Cycles in the New England Motorcycle Museum. Today I've got this absolutely gorgeous 1983 Honda CB1100F. Uh, it's going to be considered antique status next year. It'll be 35 years old. And it's in just a beautiful, beautiful piece to look at. Uh, we did quite a bit of um, analysis of the bike when we got it. And unfortunately, we don't have the time to finish getting it running. And I can tell you exactly what it needs. It needs to have the carbs completely rebuilt. It needs a new battery. We did hook up a battery to it and um, test it out, test the, the compression. The cylinders all turn, uh, turn over. It's not seized. We did a leak down test. The cylinders checked out excellent. So it only has 24,000 miles. What it needs is a new starter clutch and a new battery and the carb rebuild and the thing should run beautifully. Um, I'd also recommend cleaning out the gas tank and rebuilding the brakes because it's been sitting for a while. Maybe a new set of tires, that's up to you. Uh, the bike is in beautiful condition, it has a Kirker 4 to 1 exhaust. K and air filters, and this bike was based on the CD900F and the CD1100R Honda released the CD1100F in 1983. I was told it was a two-year bike. I think that's correct. Um, it has hotter cams, larger pistons, better carburetion in the form of four Kheen 34 millimeter CD and a redesigned combustion chamber. It also has an increased rake, and the dash features a 150 mile per hour speedometer, which I believe the, the bike was capable of doing that, 150 miles an hour. This was tested by Cycle World in 1983. It's capable of an, a stock one, and this is probably faster with the carbon intake work and the exhaust on this. A stock one is capable of an 11.3 second quarter mile as tested by Cycle World, and a 141 mile per hour half mile test, which earned it as a designation of fastest stock bike ever tested by Cycle World in 1983. So if that doesn't get you excited, the red and white paint job and the absolutely gorgeous looks should. So this is an absolute screamer, um, an evolution based off the 900 and the CD1100R. This app is a stunning machine. Um, when we acquired this classic, uh, we did uh, the full evaluation on it and we've got oh, probably 60 bikes backed up for restoration and we need to let some of them go to raise funds. So we're selling this as is, and it's kind of a double-edged sword. One, I wanted to ride this bike because I was excited about it. I graduated high school in 84, so this is a bike I lusted after as a kid. Um, I really wanted to ride it. And two, I think it'd be worth substantially more money if we got it started and running, I'm sure it would be. The NADA current value of this bike is $7,520. And if you ask me, I think they're undervalued. I believe they're gonna go up substantially like the Hondas did in the 60s and 70s very soon. So um, the bike is in really clean condition. We gave it a museum quality detailing and polishing of the whole bike, but we are selling it as is. We just don't have the time to order the parts and get this up and running. And we've got a backlog of bikes waiting to get done, so we're selling this one as is, much to my disdain, but um, you can't, can't get them all going, that's for sure. This bike has original shocks on it, original paint job, original seat. Um, the Attack and Speedo uh, appear to be in good condition but the bike was dropped on this side. So if you look over here, it's missing the, the clip. This is a, the clip for the, um, the dash thing is broken and the fairing is scuffed right here. It's been touched up, but it's been scuffed. You can see that little bit of road rash. The uh, turn signal's got a couple scratches on them, but the, the turn signal stalks are in brand new condition, um, as are the grips and the handlebars. It's got super bike bars on there. So the bars were replaced, the grips were replaced, and the um, turn signal stocks were replaced. Uh, we did put a battery in it and confirm all the electrical functions worked good on it, except for the starter clutch. The starter motor is okay, I was told, but the starter clutch is, is what needs to be fixed. Um, but the inside of the engine is good. It did pass the compression test. The engine turns over. The transmission and clutch appeared to work appropriately. And uh, I forgot to mention, I bought this from a, a, a guy uh, in um, Columbia, Connecticut, about 10 miles from our shop that grew up uh, running in the same circles that I did and uh, he's a mutual friend and he told me this bike ran beautifully when, when he parked it. Um, he just let it sit for a while and of course the carburetor's gummed up and uh, the starter clutch is stuck but uh, um, we just to confirm what he said was true we did do the compression test we, we did do the leak down test and I'm, I can uh, promise you that the cylinders are, are uh, going to be okay um, based on what we had done in our analysis. So it's a gorgeous bike. It is being sold as is. Uh, we'll let the market determine what the value is as is. Um, we've got about $4,100 tied up into the bike at this point. So uh, we're going to have a low reserve on it and we'll let the market determine what it's worth. Um, any profits on the motorcycle are going to fund the New England Motorcycle Museum. So not are, are you only buying 
the fastest motorcycle built in 1983, according to Cycle World, with 141 mile per hour, half mile, and at 11.3 quarter mile. Um, you are also helping, you're buying a piece of motorcycle history by helping support motorcycle culture by supporting the Brunel Motorcycle Museum. Follow us on Facebook at the New England Motorcycle Museum or Kaplan Cycles and uh, like our uh, YouTube channel, Kaplan Cycles. We have a lot of videos of cool vintage bikes like this coming up. So if you have any questions about the bike, give us a call 860-454-7024. Um, good luck bidding on the bike. Uh, this bike is, I have, I don't have a title to it. Unfortunately, my friend lost the title. He thought he could find it, but he couldn't. So it's sold with no title and no registration. You'll have to get a bonded title or whatever it is your state requires you to do. We're selling it as is without the paperwork. So uh, you, we will give you a Connecticut DMV bill of sale from our dealership, along with an odometer statement and some other forms that will help you out and you can notarize the bill of sale if you like. So good luck bidding on this bike. I'm gonna take it off the center stand and uh, roll her back into the museum, show her up, and put her on display for everybody to drew on until she's gone. She is a stunner. I just love the Honda factory paint job. Just a gorgeous machine. Good luck bidding on her. God bless America.